Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel Budget with Bliss. My name is Katie and this channel is all about keeping myself accountable of my budget and finances using the cash stuffing method and creating general financial well-being. Hope you're all doing well and hope you had a great week so far. I'm filming on Friday evening. It has been glorious sunshine today um, and I've had the day off so it has been a really nice chilled day. Um, went for a nice walk. Sold a few things on Vinted, um, so got a few pennies hopefully coming uh, next week once those have all been delivered. And I also have just been out on a date night with my other half. We went for a carvery, even though it was really hot weather. We um, have one just down the, from the road from us and we've been here like nearly two, no, over two years now. And we still haven't tried it, so we went and tried it and it was delicious. It was totally worth me skipping lunch for today. <laughs> Because their plates were like bowls. They were huge. So you could just load up the food. And I ate pretty much everything. <laughs> so I am so full right now in a bit of a food coma. But anyway, today's video is a check-in for June week three. Um, yeah, I haven't uh, spoke to you guys kind of for a while, it feels like. I haven't done a check-in anyway. I um, did my count up last... Uh, last night actually so yeah I still just feel like I'm really out of practice and out of sorts um let me just move that you see the end of the worktop um so yeah we're just going to check in see what I've spent this week what has been spent where we're also closing down the month um for my May budget uh as it is actually payday today for me so that is great and exciting so after this, I'll be filming my cash stuffing as well. Okay, so let's take a look at where I last left you. And I think it was around here. Uh, I think yeah, I think I did my cash stuffing on a Monday, didn't I? So yeah, I did. So um, Tuesday. I spent £25.22 pence on petrol. I just topped up my tank to like whatever it needed to be a full tank before I headed off to Download Festival for the weekend. Um, so yeah, I only needed £25.22, pence, which was really good. So I actually just took that out of my uh, binder rather than using the money I'd saved for Download specifically. Because um, yeah, I'd put in quite a bit of petrol the following week and not had to really use it. Um, I was expecting to because of work, but it didn't work out that I needed it. So yeah, that worked out quite well. Give me a bit more room in my download budget. Um, I spent £9.43 on Moon Pig because it was my dad's birthday and it was also his, it was also Father's Day uh, in the same week. So he got both of those cards. I hope he opened the right one on the right day, but I really don't know how they kind of differentiate um, for those Moon Pig cards when you send two at once. Um, but yeah, uh, so Wednesday um, was a very early start. I set my alarm for quarter past four in the morning. Um, I left my house by half past four. Had the last few bits I just needed to get packed into the car. So like the food um, and some drink that I chilled overnight uh, into the cool box. Um, and yeah, then hit the road, met up with my friends, met up with them about half seven I think it was um, and they were just outside of uh, Castle Donington where her download is uh, and then we all kind of drove in tandem um, up to yeah the festival basically so we were all in the RIP which is like the VIP kind of section so um, you get allocated a, a big spot when you turn up so if we drove in tandem then we could all go park and camp right next to one another and have a massive space uh, so that worked really well. Um, the weather was good on Wednesday. It was really quite nice and pleasant. I wore my, my normal trainers the whole time. Um, we obviously pitched up our tents. We had a look around, we grabbed our goodie bags. Um, I spent £30 at the merch stand. I bought a t-shirt with the lineup on, on the back of it, um, which is quite nice. Although later on, as the festival went on, um, when you got into the actual main arena where the bands and that play, um, they had some Mary Wyatt stuff, uh, download merch, and 
they were beautiful um but I did not buy it like I kind of stuck to my like one t-shirt kind of limit I also got, got a goodie bag from the RIP ticket that I bought you get a, a goodie bag with a t-shirt and um other bits and bobs this year it was a a little download dog skeleton uh plushie a bag a rubik's cube and then you got like the program with a lanyard and a, a pin um but i've sold some of those <laughs> I, don't, I don't want them um but yeah uh but the t-shirt doesn't come with a lineup on so i had to get one of those um and then we headed out that night uh there were some bands that were on in uh what they call district x which is like the village kind of area for the like normal kind of campers um they um put on bands and various like djs or comedy shows that kind of stuff um to kind of keep you entertained throughout the whole weekend so we went and watched um uh, a friend's husband who was performing um in a band um so we watched their band and then we headed out to Silent Disco and that was so much fun. Like <laughs> they played such different songs. So you, you, with Silent Disco, you get two DJs and you get a channel on your headset. Uh, so you can switch between the two DJs. So one of them was playing like rock metal kind of stuff. The other one was throwing out some random bangers like Hannah Montana, Cotton Eye Joe, steps um which is all really good fun and like if you know metalheads we all love a good cheesy 90s track um so it was just so amazing to be flitting through the two like we didn't get uh back to our tents until like 2 a.m and uh yeah so it was spent 31 pounds 25 on drinks that day um that was at the pub because there was a pub in the vip area and they had like, uh, you buy drinks tokens and kind of like a, what do you call it? Specialty kind of beers and ciders and stuff, like a beer festival type vibe going on. Um, so yeah, I bought some tokens there. Uh, I spent £2.60 on some water. I was very responsible. <laughs> um, and then um, I was so, 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 so chuffed and like ridiculously grateful. And I can't even like put into words how this made me feel but the amazing cosmic budgets um hit up my buy me a coffee link and sent me I think it was five or ten coffees um and that was 17 pounds 63 that came through to me um and she gifted it me to buy merch a download which obviously I did um and I I'm just I'm still grinning about it now like I really really do appreciate your your support and for thinking of me um thank you so so much I really am so thankful um I don't promote that on my channel that I have that it's just there um but yeah I'm I'm so so thankful so thank you ever so much for that if you don't already follow Cosmic Budgets do so. Uh, go follow her on Instagram and uh, YouTube channel and check out her content. Um, but yeah, I was so appreciative of that. Thank you so, so much. Um, blows my mind. This community, you're also amazing. Um, and my brother, he owed me £10, so that came through to me as well that day. Um, then on Thursday, uh, it was another day where there's like no bands or anything like that. It's just kind of campsite day, lounging about, drinking, rock fitting for me uh they do rock fit download so i was there every morning at 11 o'clock doing four rock fit classes absolute mentalist i know but i just spent 14 pounds 50 on food that day um that might have been the day we got these hash browns and they were just amazing covered in like sweet and sour sauce and peppers they were like salt and pepper hash browns they were oh divine um and yeah we just hang around drinking i was i was quite hung over that day to be fair <laughs> so I didn't drink much <laughs> and then on Friday that was band day I can't actually believe it was a week today that I was singing my little heart out to Busted at Download Festival I never thought I'd see the day but they were amazing they were such a good band um everyone there was absolutely buzzing for them the crowd yeah it was just electric so so good so yeah Friday I spent £23.30 on food, £8.87 on drinks, £5.85 on more drinks. Um, 
the bar prices and the food prices really were pretty good. Like both of these were more than one meal. Um, these drinks, uh, I think 585 was just like one pint to be fair. Um, and this was a pint and a soft drink. So like to get two drinks for less than nine quid at a festival is like unheard of. So I was really impressed at download, didn't overcharge and like having you have you paying through the nose for drinks um, and food. So yeah, that was really good. Um, and then on Saturday, again, it was a band day. Fall Out Boy headlined that day. They were so good as well. Uh, really, really good. I can't even remember who else I saw that day. That's terrible of me. Um, was it Enet Shikari that day? I think it was Enet Shikari and While She Sleeps, I think, played that day as well. They were both really good, really good, uh, like, favourite bands of mine as well. Um, so that was £37.65 on food that day. I was obviously hungrier. I think all the rock fitting and all the walking. It, and by this time, the arena was just like a mud bath, basically. Um, so it was hard work walking from one stage to another, mostly because you're concentrating on not falling over. And you, it's like walking on sand, just trying to, you have to have an extra kind of, I don't know, push to get through it. And then you're trying to, you're really concentrating on not slipping over. Yeah, it was it was absolutely mental. The mud was crazy. My wellies gave out on Saturday. Um, I'd had them probably over 10 years, but they split and my feet were freezing cold because they'd got wet because it was raining that day. Um, I think we had thunderstorms that day as well, if I remember rightly, because I'm sure it was Saturday that I was sat in the gazebo getting ready and I heard this massive clap of thunder and I'm like, oh my God, I'm in a metal tent. I'm going to die. Like, really was scared for my safety. <laughs> but my car was right there. I did think about just going and sitting in the car, insulated with my rubber tyres. But, um, yeah, it kind of went away. But then came back later on. And um, a few bands on Saturday had to stop performing, like, partway through their sets because the weather was really kind of gearing up. The wind was coming. Um, yeah, there was thunderstorms and the rain it felt like hail it was falling that hard at some points um so yeah i did leave part way through fall out boy set because my feet were done they were totally done um but yeah that was still a really good day uh sunday uh more food and drink spent 20 pounds and 65 pence um, in total between the two there. I didn't uh, drink any alcohol that day. I decided I was going to drive home. So that morning, did my rock fit and everything, um, got dressed, got changed, and then packed my car ready to drive home as soon as the band I wanted to see had finished that day. So um, yeah, saw Limp Bizkit that day. They were really good, really, really good. Um, there was a secret set as well, uh, uh, I say secret, everyone kind of figured out who it was kind of earlier in the week. Um, Parkway Drive did a secret set, um, which I actually didn't see, but heard they were good. Um, who else did I see that day? Oh, I think Offspring, were they there that day? Uh, Some 41, of oh, Mice and Men, Atreyu, they were all really good. Um, but yeah, my... Um, Spending wasn't too bad, I don't think. Um, and yeah, I came home and I'd not had to dip into anything, any other kind of like singing funds or anything like that. I haven't had to move any money around with my bank. So I was chuffed, very chuffed um, that, yeah, Download didn't rip us off and I didn't go bonkers with, with spending money on uh, drink and stuff. I think it helped that I got so drunk on Wednesday uh, off of my own drink mostly that I took with me, um, that uh, I couldn't drink <laughs> as much the rest of the weekend. Um, so yeah, that kind of helped. Um, by the way, 44 bread rolls is too many. Um, we, we didn't, I don't even think we hit 20 because <laughs> we would just cook for breakfast. But when the rain came, we couldn't cook. Um, the barbecue uh, got wet and yeah, so... <laughs> We didn't cook as much as we could have, which is unfortunate. Um, but 
it means I've got lots of leftover food and lots of leftover alcohol as well, actually. <laughs> so that's all uh, all here, ready for the summer, really. And I've um, got uh, buttons later on this year, so I'll take it there. Uh, then on Monday, um, I did nothing on Monday other than unload the car and put on my first load of washing. Um, I spent £11.33 on a poll practice session, which isn't until next week. Um, but I wanted to get that in because there's only one space left. Uh, Tuesday, Enish Shikari announced a new tour. So I bought tickets. So I spent £43 on that. Now, I did have to take some money out of Christmas for that. But it's payday today. So I've put it back in. Uh, it's back to where, where it was. So no bother there. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I was fully back at work. Uh, were no spend days. And if you can hear the washing machine is on again, I think it must be my last load of washing for download. <laughs> it's taken us like six days or something to uh, to get everything washed. But yeah, that is us checked in and everything kind of laid out for what we spent in our May budget. So we'll just kind of go through this binder and empty it out now and reallocate what we can, um, where we can. So spending has got nine quid. So yeah, let me know how your weekends have been. Um, if you've got anything exciting happening this week. I know Schools are starting to break up for some holidays like in Scotland and that now, I think. Is that right? I'm sure I heard someone say that. Uh, so there's four pounds in petrol and some pennies for the penny savings challenge. Okay, and everything else is empty. So we are going to go into my sinking funds and I'm going to put five pounds into poll as I've booked myself like a one-to-one -one with one of the teachers this weekend um, just to try and help me with like my technique and stuff. Um, I'm struggling to kind of progress at the moment. I think it's because it's the weather like I get hot really quickly and that really hinders me because I then start to get like sweaty hands and then I can't grip um and then I can only get like a couple of good like spins or whatever in in like a whole hour which is just ridiculous um it's actually ruining my life <laughs> it's really not but I mean it is um yeah I'm like it's holding me back and I, I'm frustrated about it um so yeah uh should we put a pound in books let's do that we haven't put anything in there for a while i still have not yet finished powerless i was hoping to get it done before download but i did not have enough time um so i've still got about half of that to go um is anyone else reading anything good at the moment let me know eva i know you are always reading um and recommending fabulous books for me so uh always wanted to hear what you're reading next Okay, so that's done for sinking funds. What have we got left? Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, seven. I'm going to put, I think, holiday binder. Let's put five pounds into Cinderella cash. Mm, I don't really want to put coins in here. Let me just swap out. for these five coins from my weekly envelopes. And then we can cross off one of these. Uh, have you seen Grounded Budgets has brought out a Princess Bride savings challenge uh, like collection? Uh, I saw it today and yeah, I, I just immediately purchased it. <laughs> And um, 
I think it's like a no frills kind of collection. It is like the challenges and the trackers that you get, um, no kind of extra freebies and things like that, which is like fine, which is really good actually. Like you don't need all the extra kind of bits and bobs, although they are nice touches, but it's sometimes nice to just strip it back and just have uh, the savings challenges. Um, so they are 10 pounds for the full set, but you can get a mini version uh, for only a fiver. So um, do go and check out her Etsy store. And if you like the Princess Bride, I mean, yeah, I, I just have to have it. It's one of my, it might be my favorite movie. I'm not quite sure. I flip between that and a couple of others. So, uh, so that's got 1,105 pounds in Cinderella cash now. But yeah, go and check those out. Oh, and they've also announced the uh, budget, big budgeting meetup um, location and date. Uh, it's a location that I can get to. I could actually probably drive there and back in a day. Um, it wouldn't be too much of a bother for me to do that. Uh, it just depends what is going on that time of year for me next year. Um, I don't want to commit to something just yet. So, yeah. I don't know. I would love to be there. Like, I'd really like to meet some of y'all. But um, it just depends whether or not it works out with things that are going on. So, right, I'm going to pop two pounds into the Witch's Grimoire. This is from the Rocking Witch. So, we are still working on the Norse ruins on the twos. So, we'll cross off from that one. And. The coins go into this lovely little pouch. There we go. So we've got fifteen pounds in notes in there. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, I think, in total. And that challenge, oh, sorry, I need that kept out for the penny challenge. So, how much was here? 50, 60, 70, 72, 77, 78. So let's feed the little piggies. Actually, remember to get them out this time. How much was it? 78, I think. <laughs> so let's do that there. There we go. So sorry, this is a longer check-in than normal, but um, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you all about my weekend and um, how much fun it was. Um, because yeah, I feel like you're all on this kind of journey a little bit with me. If you don't like hearing about this kind of stuff, then um, yeah, feel free to just skip and stuff. But we're at the end of the video now anyway, so too late. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. And um, I look forward to speaking to you in the comments below. I feel like it's been ages since we spoke. And um, yeah, I look forward to speaking to you in my next video. Take care, bye.